Hello everyone, it's me Linking X2 back again with another tier list of this year's worlds. Today we're talking about the best top laners at this tournament. So we're going to factor in recent performance and expected performance for worlds. Also stuff like how the team is playing around them. So we don't want to waste too much time. We're going to start right ahead with the S tier. We have Zhao and Khan in the S tier currently. Khan on the top of his performance as of now, playing Camille and other carry top laners. And yeah, we don't have to talk too much about Zhao. He's completely smurfing on the top laners in the LPL. And uh, yeah, the LPL has some great top laners. So yeah, these two edge out on top as the best two top laners in their regions. And no questions asked S tier for these two. Then coming here into the S tier, we start with Kanar. Then we have Nagari, Landre and Arle. These four here are very good. Sometimes they don't get enough resources from their team. In other cases, they get enough resources, but yeah, aren't really able to make as much of an impact as like these S tier top laners. Still super strong players, super great laning phase and reliable in team fights as well. That's just this little small edge that these S tier top laners have over the A tier ones. And yeah, it wouldn't really surprise me depending on matchup that A tier top laners would beat S tier top laners. Coming into the B rank, we start with Rascal, Adam, Alfari, Armut, Butch, and uh, lastly, we have Morgan. These are all very, very good top laners, but we can see there's a, now a separation here. While S and A are rather close, A and B, then, yeah, you can see a gap here in skill. But all the B tier top laners, even though I have uh, yeah, separated them here a bit and ordered them in a certain yeah, order. On a good day, Fudge can beat Adam, uh, for example, and Armut can beat Adam as well, or Morgan could beat Rascal on a good day, right? This all, all of that can happen. These are all very solid top laners. They have good mechanics. They are held back in a few aspects. The team not playing around them, having yeah, less experience on the international stage or small champion pools being overly aggressive. And yeah, you can count a few more. So B rank, don't misunderstand, very, very good rank still, but there is an edge that yeah, differentiates themselves from the A tier and S tier uh, top laners. Coming to the C tier, C tier might seem a bit bad, but yeah, these are still very solid top laners here overall that we have. We could also do this. Well, whatever. Someday, Odoamne and PK may be crazy. Um, I'm still not too sure about this one. And let's fill out the D rank as well. These top laners are super solid. They do their job, but usually they're not doing more than you expect. If you give them resources, they're doing well, but without resources, they're only doing fine. And mechanically, there's also a difference between them and obviously the B and even the higher ranking top laners. They're still super solid and yeah, the team in most cases can count on them. In many aspects, they're just a cut below the B rank and even further down the A rank top laners. Don't forget, as I mentioned, if you give them the resources and a good matchup, you wouldn't be too surprised if someday or even Oduamne yeah, can win against some of these B tier top laners. It's just that it's not that likely and also the teams not playing too much around them. Then we round up with the D rank top laners, uh, Bugex and uh, Liang. They're fine, but yeah, they are even more lacking in other aspe aspects. And yeah, I could also put here the other wildcard region top laners. But yeah, I'm not too familiar with them. And I think at some point it would be a bit silly to just put down all the uh, yeah, other uh, wildcard regions uh, in one tier. Just these two for comparison's sake. So overall, this is my uh, top lane ranking here. Hope you yeah, can agree with some points. If you have some questions, just ask away in the comments down below. We're going to see each other with the top lane rankings just shortly after this. Make sure to like and subscribe not to miss out on any future tier lists and world's content. I mean, there's still so much to do before and the great day of the opening show. So see you then.